have received the gift of righteousness. Romans chapter 5 verses 15 through 17. But the free gift is not like the offense. For if by one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like that which came to the one who sinned. For the judgment which came from one offense resulted in condemnation. But the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more, those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. We've picked up a few verses here from Romans chapter 5, where the Apostle Paul is helping us understand the, the gift of righteousness. And I just want to highlight some important aspects of this righteousness that God has given to us. Paul tells us, first of all, that this is a free gift. He says, the free gift that God has given to us. He says it's because this is a gift of grace. It is the grace of God. And he says it's the abundance of grace through which God has given to us this gift. It's a gift given by grace. And it's, it's a gift that brings justification. Unlike uh, Adam's offense, Adam's sin that brought condemnation. But Jesus Christ, in his abundance of grace, he has given us this gift. And this gift brings justification. It puts us in an absolutely perfect right standing with God. And this is the gift of righteousness. I want to emphasize the fact that righteousness that we have as believers in Jesus Christ is really a gift. We need to understand that it is a gift given by God's abundant grace, meaning it's nothing that we can earn. You know, many of us, we feel uh, we need to earn there, there's a, a sense that I need to work for this. So we try to, you know, uh, think that we are pleasing God or we're accepted in His eyes uh, because of all the certain things we do, uh, the certain disciplines we have. Maybe it's your Bible reading or your prayer or your, you know, how, uh, how well you live or how all of those things. Well, all of that is important. We must understand righteousness is, is not something we earn. It is a gift of grace. Uh, it is good to do all these things, but none of these things are qualifying us in any way to receive God's gift of righteousness. God's gift of righteousness is given to us freely by His grace. It's a free gift given to us by grace. So your standing before God is the same. On the day you've read 10 chapters in your Bible, on the day you've read one chapter, on the day you've read no chapter, your standing before God is still the same. You are the righteousness of God. Now, for us, that seems hard to accept, but we must embrace the truth of the word that God has given to us righteousness freely as a gift by His grace. As long as you're clear on that, then you are totally free in your spirit to talk to God, commune to God, to know that you're accepted and approved and welcome by God, anytime, any place, not because you merit it, but because He's given it to you by grace. And it is this gift of righteousness that enables us to reign in life, to rule in life through Jesus Christ. Embrace the truth that righteousness has been given to you freely as a gift by grace. Let's pray. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, that you'll help us embrace the fact that you've given to us righteousness freely by your grace as a gift. And help us, Lord, to uh, live out of that. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.